Through this video, we will learn how to set up analog input and output of the S100. Analog voltage and current input through the AC drive control terminal can be used for various commands such as operating frequency setting or torque command and can also be used as feedback during PID control. However, the minimum and maximum values of commands or feedback may vary depending on the load system. For example, if the default is to stop at 0 Hz when 0 volts is input and operate at maximum frequency when 10 volts is input, you want it to stop even when 2 volts is input. There may be cases where you want to operate at maximum frequency even if only 8 volts is input. In this case, you must set the setting frequency for analog input. The same applies to analog output. Various AC drive operation information, such as output frequency and output current, can be converted to voltage or current, and output through analog output terminals, such as the AO terminal. At this time, you can also adjust the size of the actual output voltage or current according to the output value. Next, we will learn how to set the analog input-output range. First, let's look at how to set the target frequency with analog 0 to 10 volts input. The analog input terminals include VR, V1, I2, and CM terminals and there is an analog voltage current input terminal setting switch. VR terminal is a 0 to 10 volt output terminal. V1 terminal is an analog voltage input terminal. And I2 is a 0 to 10 volt and 4 to 20 milliamperes input terminal. Lastly, CM is a common terminal for analog input and output. When inputting the output voltage of an external device, wire using the V1 and CM terminals or I2 and CM terminals. Here the I2 terminal becomes a voltage input terminal that receives 0 to 10 volts when the analog voltage current input terminal setting switch is placed upward. And when it is placed downward, it becomes a current input terminal that receives 4 to 20 milliamperes. When using the AC drive's internal power, wire a 1K to 5K ohm volume resistor to VR, V1, and CM. Parameters related to analog input can be set in the in-group. First, in group 6 does not use negative voltage, so set it to unipolar. If you want to use it from negative 10 volts to 10 volts, you can set bipolar. You can set the filter time constant for analog voltage input in in group number 7. You can set the range of input voltage in in group parameters 8 to 11. You can set the minimum input voltage and corresponding frequency, maximum input voltage and corresponding frequency. The frequency corresponding to 100% analog input can be set in in-group 1 parameter. Next, we will learn about setting parameters related to analog input using the S100 keypad. In this video, we will set it to operate at 0 Hz when a 2 volt input signal comes in and at 60 Hz when a 9.5 volt input signal comes in. First, set number 1 in drive group DRV to FXRX1 and number 2 in FRQ to V1 and then move to in group. Set the minimum input voltage to 2 volts in in-group number 8. And set the corresponding input level to 0% in 
hidden in group number 9. Set the maximum input voltage to 9.5 volts in in group number 10 and set the corresponding input level to 100% in in-group number 11. Next, let's look at 0 to 10 volt analog output settings. The terminals related to analog output include AO and CM terminals, and there is an analog output setting switch, SW3. AO terminal is a 0 to 10 volt and 0 to 20 milliampere output terminal. And CM is a common terminal for analog input output. If you place the analog output setting switch upward, it becomes an output terminal that outputs 0 to 10 volts. And if you place it downward, it becomes an output terminal that outputs 0 to 20 milliamperes. However, in S100 AC drives over 30 kilowatts, the existing AO terminal block is replaced with the AO1 terminal block and the AO2 analog output terminal block that outputs 0 to 10 volts is added, resulting in a total of two analog output terminal blocks. Next, let's take an AC drive under 22 kilowatts as an example. Parameters for analog output can be set in the OU group. AO terminal is an analog output terminal. Therefore, you can directly select the output items for AO in OU group number one parameter. Output items can be selected from the operating frequency shown on the screen to fixed value output. In this video, we will select operating frequency 0. In OU group number 2, you can set the analog output. In OU group number 3, you can set the bias value for analog output. Gain and bias are reflected in the output according to the formula shown on the screen. Next, we will learn how to monitor the current frequency through 2 to 10 volts output using the keypad. In this video, we will set it to output 2 volts at 0 Hz and 10 volts at 60 Hz. First, move to the OU group. Set frequency 0 in AO1 mode 1. Set the gain value for analog output to 80% in OU group number 2, AO1 gain, and set the bias value for analog output to 20% in OU group number 3, AO1 bias. The frequency at 100% input can be set in the IN01 parameter. Please be sure to check as it is not always linked to the maximum frequency. If you set the maximum frequency to 100 Hz and want to drive at 100 Hz when the analog voltage reaches maximum, you must also change the value of IN01 parameter in the same way. If the analog signal contains noise components, Set the in-group number 7 V1 filter high. Next, we will conduct the test under the parameter conditions set previously. After wiring the variable resistor to VR, V1, and CM terminals to use the internal power supply, Rotate the variable resistor and check that the target frequency changes. Below 2 volts, the frequency command becomes 0 Hz. Above 9.5 volts, the frequency command becomes 60 Hz. Next, let's test the analog output. Since bias was set to 20% and gain to 80%, Depending on the output frequency, a graph is drawn 
as shown on the screen. We learned about how to control the analog input and output of the S100. Thank you 